show you a med testing kit, I'm going to show you how to become a professional med tester. How much does it cost to get a professional med tester company to test your house? $250, $300, easy. Buying a product, you're actually going to save hundreds of dollars and you're going to learn a little bit of science. It's just like going back to school. The big question is, hey, does this kit does actually work? Well, go down to the next video and the following that. Those are actual footage of the real scenario you take place when we're testing. So we've actually taken this video to show you. You know, customers are just amazed how they work wonders. And, and they could have told me I should have known you better um, earlier. What comes with our med testing kit? comes with a um, sterilized swab, it comes with a buffer liquid, it also comes with a template and it comes with this cassette. Okay. It also comes with all the instruction for you to become confident to take samples and know how to read samples. Okay. So this first instruction pretty much tells you how to, uh, how to know to get to know your med testing kit. So pretty much I'm going to explain this to you. So it's pretty much telling you that C is the control line, C is the test line, and S is the sample drop. So you're gonna drop the sample there later. So I'm gonna show you how to use that later. But all the instructions will be in there, including all the results and how to use it, how many seconds, how many minutes you need to do it, but we're gonna demonstrate that. Also come with all the area suggestion, uh, word swap, um, and how to use it, if it's positive or negative, okay? It'll also give you um, the areas, if it's newly painted, what do I do? Okay, what, what areas do I swap in the high hand traffic to avoid cross contamination? Now, why do we demand for self testing kit? If you simple Google med testing scam, med testing company ripoff, med testing cowboy, go ahead, do it. You'll find all the horror story. So, do it yourself. You're gonna save some money, you're gonna learn a little bit of science. It's a very, very common practice for meth testing company to charge excessively on testing. Okay, they find a little bit of meth, they're gonna tell you, I'm gonna have to teach, test each area. Really, really common. Okay, a little bit of meth out there, they're gonna tell you, you're gonna have to demolish your house, demolish all the walls. It's gonna cost 10, 20,000, easy. So this is a good example of a article in the New Zealand Herald where there's meth testing cowboy blamed for unnecessary expenses. Really, really common, okay? Recently, I've done quite a few jobs and the customers actually given me their lab resort, you know? This is a really, really good example. Okay. Looking at here, if you look at there, um, the result of nine swabs, the average result is coming up with 0.4. They're saying, hey, one of them could be as high as 3.2, which is impossible. So, they do recommend Based on the initial site assessment and laboratory analysis, it is determined that there's trace of methamphetamine and they would recommend you to take samples on the nine areas. So that's gonna cost $900. That's quite expensive on top of the $300 you just paid. The Carousel, another one here. It's done at a, a different company. So it is quite common for them to tell you this and test and test unnecessarily. That's why we're here to help you. Okay, now here's another one here. 0.61 is the um, result out of the 10 areas they've tested it. Same thing. They're gonna tell you um, one of the area can be as high as 6.08. Recommendations, $700 test per area. Okay, so on top of the $300, another $700. Easy money for the med testing company. Now how can we help you? Okay. By the end of the video, you'll learn how to test your house even though your house is contaminated. Okay, I'm gonna go back to you that later. Now, we're gonna show you that we do have three types of sensitivity. Um, it's 0.02, which is the most sensitive in the market. We're the only one in New Zealand who's got as low as 0.02. And we're gonna explain to you why we actually um, do this. The next one is the mid-range sensitivity. Um, that's pretty much the old standard. It used to be 0.5. Now they've increased it to 1.5. That's a new standard. Now if you get your kit, if you order a multiple sensitivity, you'll actually get um, 
uh, for one mil and three mil. Now the one mil is used for 0.02 and 0.5. Okay, the three mils that you get, so it's, it's going to be written there just in case you mix it up. Yeah, that's going to be used for 1.5 uh, microgram test. Okay, because it makes it less sensitive with more liquid on it. People ask me how many um, kits do you actually need in a house? Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is um, I'm, I'm show you why, what's the importance of um, buying a multiple sensitivity kit. Okay, if you got a tenant out there who's only been there three months and you don't know that they, they're, they're meth addict, they start smoking meth. After three months you go there, you take your 0.02 microgram test, swab the wall, swab everything, it's, it's come up positive. Okay. That's probably this just starting to notice that, hey, I've got a problem with my tenant. If you use a 1.5 microgram, it's not going to show because they've only been there three months. It's probably smoking. Okay. The, the 0.02 will pick it up. That's, that's the importance of yeah, getting a multiple sensitivity so you, you can measure the level. If, if, if the tenant's been there six months, you know, he'll probably start cooking, he'll probably start selling, and that carries on. Horse stories clear on. So you want to catch them straight away at a low level because it's easier to clean, easy to, to contaminate. Now um, we're going to start doing the test. Okay. So we're going to be um, shaking uh, this buffer. You're going to have to shake it before you test it for around 30 seconds. Open the swab, and you're going to dip this for around 30 seconds. While I'm dipping this for 30 seconds, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what a good area to test. Okay. Now in the kitchen, I would quite, quite good area to test is this area here. Because that's where the steam goes back. Another area down there. And simply on top of the range is quite good on the ceiling and on the window frame over there. Okay, you can do one here as well if you want to. But inside the rain chute, avoid the grease, not in here, but you wanna go inside the rain chute. Okay, near the, 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 the picket, yeah. So if you got a door like that, that's a good spot in the ceiling, and that's a good spot there. So a professional med tester will choose the spot. And remember, always about shoulder heights. And the reason behind that is you could have a cousin or a relative that's got med addiction and they could be touching all this high hand traffic. And what's going to happen? If you swap that, it's going to come up positive. Yeah, so that's a false positive if that happens. So always above shoulder heights because unlikely they'll be putting the hands up there. So you just want to know to see if the house uh, you know, has been used as a med lab or someone's just smoking. Smoking is not as a, as a big problem. Uh, gradually, if the tenant's been there a long time or someone's been smoking a long time, yes, it'll become a problem. That's why, same thing, multiple sensitivity uh, takes the answer for that. Um, cooking med lab is what we're trying to avoid. You know, if you're getting a med lab, the reading would be uh, more than 10. So uh, below 10, around 5, that's pretty much mainly smoking. Um, in some cases, um, if it's below 2, um, the reading, um, uh, simple tips from the um, trip, trip to the bunning store or Mitre 10, um, get, you know, get a cleaner, um, and that solves the problem. And we will also give you a copy of if you buy a te med testing kit from us, we'll give you a copy how to clean a low um, contaminated house. Okay, so you'll get a copy of that as well. So, if you're in the bedroom or in the lounge area, same thing with the frame, that area there, that area there, that ceiling there, quite a good area. That area, there's quite a good area. Window frame again, and ceiling. Okay, or in the middle here. In the hallway, in the door, same thing, above shoulder heights. But you don't need to worry about that because you're going to get detailed instruction how to do it. So we're going to start swabbing now. Um, so, yeah, there's two ways of doing this. Okay, so we're going to do an initial test. Okay, we're not going to do detailed test yet, we're going to do initial test. So the initial test is pretty much to tell you yes or no. So there's two ways of doing initial tests. One is swabbing everywhere, 
Second is using the template. The template is trying to make sure the 100 cm2, you know, what like it says 0.02 microgram 100 cm2. But to get more coverage for your first test, I would pretty much go about shoulder heights and this the area. Okay, so you can actually just keep dipping this. This is a simple answer, yes or no? As an initial test. So we missed this point here. So you don't want to be going to any door handles, any high-hand traffic, you avoid that for your first test. If you get a chair ladder, it's perfect, because you can actually go a little bit higher and test it. Now, if you're trying to find out, um, you just want to do a, a, a small area test that will actually give you the measurement of the 100 cm2 that you're looking for. It won't give you the yes or no answer, it will tell you that if the house is contaminated or not by using this. But we'll discuss with you later how to do that. So right now, let's keep swabbing. And if you're swabbing this, don't swab it pointy like this. Okay? You need to swab it this way where um, you're going to have to rub it and turn it around. So you want as much residue in there as much as possible. Take all stuff in there and test it. So go around the house and test it. You can keep dipping this back. So you just want all the residue back into the liquid and keep swabbing it. Okay. Now we're ready to test. So we just put it back in here. So it require, as per instruction, another minute to stay in there, but you need to keep shaking it and you need to keep squeezing it. So you want to squeeze, squeeze all that residue in there to test, to see if there's any residue, any met residue in, into the liquid, okay? So you just want to keep squeezing it and you need to keep dipping it. So you're putting the residue in there to test it on this. So the recommendation is one minute. You can stay a little bit longer if you want to and squeeze it, squeeze all the juice out from there, put it back in here. And once again, shake it for 30 seconds. Once you shake it for 30 seconds, it needs to go down for 30 seconds to level it up. Okay, now we're ready to test. Okay, once you put it down for 30 seconds, you take three drops on the sample line. Okay, so you need to um, have five seconds interval per test. So that's one, two, a bit fast, three. That's all you need to do. It's very, very simple. Now the line will start to go up and you'll get three samples. Now you, you'll get one of these results when you, when you um, after, after the test. Okay, so you'll get C line, which is the control line, that's what you call a positive result, okay? And you will get a negative result where there's two lines in there. But you can see that in there, that this, this really, really clear, there's no line on T. It's really, really white, you can see it from there. But here you can see the two dark line. Okay, now we're gonna discuss to you about this one here, where there's a little bit of faint line in there. What is that? Okay, so this haven't reached its, its cutoff level. Just for example, if you purchase a 0.5 microgram per 100 cm2, this could be reading 0 0.4, 0 0.3. It's easy. Now you know how to measure, uh, and now you, how you, how you, how you know how to swap. So what happens if the test is negative? Okay. I'm gonna carry on testing because I wanna make sure. So I can now test on the high traffic area just to make sure in the lower area. I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry on swabbing all the light switches, all the phones, all the door handles, pretty much in the lower area. It's just to make sure that definitely there's no mate in there. That's why I said it's one's not gonna be enough if you, if you just buy one, you know? The, the more you buy, the more accurate you, you go. Um, now, what happens if you test the positive? This, you can have to use this right now, okay? And then you need to go for the different sensitivity you want. So you can go for the 0.5 to see if that's positive on 0.5, and or you can go with a 1.5 to see if it's positive on 1.5, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to use this template. So let's say this is tested positive, okay? So I'm gonna use the same 
This one here. So you choose an area on the house um, where you think you want to test it and you want to measure now. You can actually measure uh, the microgram, what they're saying. If it's 1.5 microgram, you want to see if this passed the New Zealand standard or not. Okay. So how you swap that is same thing. You dip it in there for same procedure for, for, for 30 seconds and you know, you start swapping. So you're only going to swap this little area here. Okay. So you swap it this way. So with Z area, you swap as much as possible in this little area anymore. You don't swap anywhere else, but just this area. Okay. Then once you finish, is pretty much just put it back in here. Same procedure. Drop it in the test. Okay. So. Once you dip that in there for one minute, give it a good shake and same thing, three drops and you'll get the answer of yes or no. So what happens if the result is positive again, it's higher than 1.5, uh, that means to say your house is contaminated. Now that's when you panic. <laughs> um, from the ministry guideline, it tells you, um, you can just go to the website, um, you know, 1.5 uh, on the high risk area, it is uh, considered a um, contaminated house in the um, uh, low traffic area, yeah, 3.8 is the, um, uh, the limit. I forget to tell you that we also do offer a uh, laboratory med test kit. Okay, so if the house is, 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 is more than 1.5, you wanna you wanna see if it's a med house. Um, you know, we do have products that we, um, we we send you the swab and you swab it and you send it straight to the laboratory. So we can do, we, we offer that as well. And same thing, that avoids the third party uh, to contaminate um, or, or, or to rip you off. So you can do this all by yourself and same thing, it's so much cheaper. Now, once you, um, you, 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 you buy the product from us and, and you want to pick it up, hey, look, straight away you can pick it up. Um, you know, if you pay now and trade me, if, you wanna, if you're in Hamilton, if you order before 3 o'clock, you know, you, very likely you're going to get the product the next day. Now, if you're in Auckland, if you're, a, if you're in a rush to pick it up, if you're in the North Shore, perfect. We're usually between 8 to 5, we are in Albany. Um, we, uh, you can pick it up after auction. Now, do text us. The, the phone will automatically be emailed to you. Just text us. Um, you know, when do you want to pick it up? And we'll reply straight away within five minutes. We'll tell you, you can pick it up at this time. You can pick it up now. Yep. We are on your phone. We are on our email every time. When you, when you text us, when you email us, we, we do get the calls. We receive the calls. We will reply straight away. Okay. Now, um, on the weekends, you're happy to pretty much as well pick it up and same thing, you know, give us a text because the reason why we don't give you the number of our address is because we want to make sure, um, you know, that we know you, that you're coming. So, because we've got two locations uh, where we are and we want to make sure that um, we, we, we point you to the right direction. Now, you are confident to do your own tests. I hope you learn all the techniques of how to swap the house and if you have any question give us a ring now our email address is medtestingkit.co.nz and our email address is medtestingkit at gmail.com and our mobile number there but as I said if you purchase any of this on, on trade me the mobile number will be given to you and give us a text um, thank you very much and I hope that can save you some money and thank you bye